jugs that that are, were used for Gentile wine, these kankanim, shel ovdei kochavim, right, these, these jugs. So it was asked of the, these Amorayim, these third and, uh, yeah, third and fourth century rabbis in, in Babylonian, in Sasanian Persia, what, what about putting beer in them? So wine has its problems, but what about putting beer in them? So we have these third, we have these third century rabbis who say, this is a problem. Rav Nachman and Rav Yehuda say, no go, this is a problem. But then we have potentially the greatest rabbi of the entire Babylonian Talmud, Rava, who comes along and says, no, this is fine. This is totally cool, like, that's fine. And then subsequently we have, and he's in the fourth, uh, gener fourth century, and then we have Ravina, who comes a little after him, and he permits for a particular person, Rav Chia Bere Rav, and, uh, Rabbi Yitzchak, who uh, says, yeah, you can, you can pour beer into it, it's fine. And he even screwed up. This guy, he permitted to pour, wine, pour beer into there and poured wine in there, even that he was okay with. So we have ultimately, and this is the way that the sort of halacha works, is that the later rabbis, even though these first two rabbis, Rav Nachman and Rav Yehuda, say this is a problem, you should not be storing beer in jugs and kankanim in the rabbi Shlomo Yitzchaki and he says here we've got in the sources that uh, basically the deshikra mevatale latayma dechamra that the beer gets rid of the flavor of the wine basically it it um, I almost want to say vanquishes like it overpowers and it just sort of gets rid of the the wine flavor like it's not significant compared to the power of the beer flavor we have this source here from the 14th century of the tour, and he says the reason is that the problem, that, or the reason that this mechanic works is actually different than Rashi has suggested, is because that the yain, the Food. wine screws up the beer. Right, yeah. Right. We have the standard, the Shulchan Aruch, Rabbi Yosef Karo's 15th century, <laughs> and it's, uh, he says it's fine. Again, just like the Talmud though, no reason is offered. Right, it's fine. Right. Just as right. long as he says, "Vilvad shi adich b'tchila lachluch lehayyain shalpanei hakelim." You got to get rid of the like the wine residue that's still hanging out, the like the wetness. But as long as you rinse that off, great. He's not worried right. about anything that could be hanging out inside of whatever the container is, whatever it's made of. Just as long as you don't just have wine splashing around in there. I'm gonna get right next to the Taz. I'm sorry, the shach. Yeah. He says, and he uses Rashi's reasoning, that because it, that the beer flavor overpowers the wine flavor. Right. So, um, I, yeah, I mean, but I'm the happy ta, the, But the Taz actually does bring back the tour. Right. The Taz actually brings right. back the Pigima issue, and the Bach does as well. Right. Um, Which I conveniently omitted, but I should definitely include in those sources. Well, yeah, I've got my own uh, Safari page up on my own computer. <laughs> That's good. That's um, good. So, so, I, I, yeah. so in, my, in my read, what I like about it so far, in my, you know, my, my narrative, as it were, is that the understanding that the reason why maybe, let's say, Rav Nachman and Rav Yehuda, maybe they thought you can't really get rid of that wine flavor. It's still, to some degree, going to be in that container. But Rava and Ravina... Or say like it's you can have some wine flavor that's fine it's not that significant of a wine flavor that's really going to make that much of a difference and ultimately rashi and shach agree with that they say um right yeah rashi and shach ultimately agree and say look the 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 overwhelming overpowering of the flavor of beer of wine over the the wine that's still you know the residue is still left in there you know that that's going to work that's a mechanic that they're fine with Right. Right. Yeah. That's what I like. I, I'm not such a fan of the tour for the exact reason I mentioned before. Oh, that's it interesting. It doesn't reflect reality. 